And today I've made a delicious bake. Now I've used uh, oats and sunflower seeds for the topping and the bake is made with a coconut infusion, cauliflower, butter beans. I've picked fresh rosemary from my garden. You can also use dry rosemary if you don't have fresh available. And I've also used nutmeg to give it a magical infusion of deliciousness. So let me show you how I made this. Let's go. Okay, so I chopped one small cauliflower into small pieces. And I also used some of the nice leaves from the outside and chopped them in too. I chopped one onion after I peeled it, a large white onion, you can use whichever type of onion you've got, or you can even use leek. And I chopped that into small pieces too. I picked some rosemary from my garden earlier. It's got this incredible, vibrant aroma to it. And then I used a, a sharp knife to chop that into tiny pieces. If you don't have fresh rosemary available to you, you can also use dried. I took a pan, used a drizzle of olive oil, you can also use coconut oil or whatever oil you have available. I sautéed my onion for a minute or two and added the cauliflower. Now during this process I keep replacing the lid when I'm not mixing it in. Added the water and then I kept replacing the lid. And then I added the rosemary, salt. And pepper to taste. Mixed it all in together. Then I took a hundred grams which is a half uh, block of creamed coconut. You can also use coconut butter for this. I mixed it in and then it begins to melt. Creamed coconut or coconut butter melts once it's heated. Added the butter beans and then in the meantime I took one heap teaspoon of tapioca starch or corn starch one heaped teaspoon of onion powder then I took 75 milliliters of water and added it a little by little now if you add it all in one go because of the onion powder it is actually going to go a bit lumpy so just add a little bit at a time mix it add a little bit more mix it and then add the whole amount of water and then pour that into the pan then you want to take your nutmeg Use a really fine grater and add it. I probably added about half a teaspoon worth of finely grated nutmeg. That aroma is incredible. And nutmeg and also the rosemary as well have wonderful health benefits to them. And you wanna pop it in an oven proof dish. And then grab 100 grams of ground oats, 100 grams of ground sunflower seeds, Add a bit of salt, a bit of pepper, and some dried parsley, or use fresh if you like. Add enough water to it to bind it. Just use your fingertips just to work it in together until you get a nice crumble. Pop it on top, and then pop it into a preheated oven for about half an hour until the top is nice and tanned. And there we go, it's all ready and then you get to enjoy it with veggies, with potatoes, or with a nice delicious salad. Thanks for tuning in. I do hope that you enjoy this bake as much as I do. Please do come visit my website, trinityskitchen.com. I've got loads more healthy, plant-based, gluten-free recipes and articles and lots of information on there. Come subscribe to my YouTube channel if you wanna see more recipes like this and let me know how you get on. Bye for now.